Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So, just after Fallout 76 first came out, I put up a little video called Four Easy to Move Camps. It was uh, reasonably well received. And it's now a little bit out of date. I'll link it up in the corner if you want to see it anyway. But I thought the time was right to jump in and update it with a little bit of new information and with some of the new building sets that we have available in Fallout 76 today. So, this is mostly aimed at people who are not particularly keen on the building side of things and are not wanting to build complex camps, or if you movie camp a lot, it's handy to be able to have a build ready for that. So this is where we are just at the moment, where we're going to demonstrate our couple of builds. Just across from Moonshine and Shack and Vault 76 there. Nice little bit of flat ground, not far from where the Meat Week event spawns, but it will do us nicely. Actually, on that little... Um, Jesse there, just by the pond, is uh, quite a common place to find settlers taking a little wander around, so kind of cool for that regard as well. But, first build is pretty much a build you're going to be seeing a huge amount of around the wasteland. It's one I've shown on a couple of occasions before, but it bears showing again because it very much fit for the purpose which it's intended. It's the old one foundation staircase build a house on top approach. A couple of um, extra points from previous times I've built this. We're going to build around the staircase here, rather than straight off the top of it. The major reason for that is it'll look a little bit better. The build will just be a little bit more complete looking, which is always an added bonus over some of the looks that end up getting developed when you just go straight off the staircase. It just looks very uh, thrown together, so it's always worth having. It also has a slightly smaller footprint in that it just doesn't stick out quite as far. So it doesn't make it a great deal of difference to the placing of it, but it means you need less space to avoid trees and the like clipping through the main building. It just means it's a little bit easier to squeeze into gaps. That's always a bonus. We'll get a few walls in, change my mind on the windows there, we'll just stick to the centre of each wall. Makes it a bit easier to have tidy workbenches then. Close up the corners, nice and easy. Boom. And now I'm just going to run around the inside of the staircase here, close this up as well. It stops you falling out, which is always good. And it just makes you feel a little bit more finished, as does remembering you have not put walls in that corner. There we go. Dead easy. We'll stick a roof on, close up the last couple of gaps. And I can find the roof pieces I'm looking for. Oh, there they are. So we'll just use the corner ones. It gives it a bit more shape, makes it a bit more interesting. You can use the flat ones if you like. It makes it easier to put turrets on the top if you want to go down that road, but... You want something that looks a little more interesting? There we go, angled roofs. More, and we'll stick a cat piece on the top. Yeah. And we'll just close off the top of this centre section of walls here. And we haven't got a big gap. Nice. Throw a door in, because why not? <laughs> not strictly speaking necessary, but... The major change from the past video, apart from the little updates here that I wanted to mention, was that um, a key point when it comes to blueprinting and moving any structure at all is to make sure that the only thing that it's part of the blueprint that clips through the ground is your foundations. So make sure you're not getting any crops, any purifiers, anything like that. Make sure you've not got any stairs on the bottom level that clip through the ground, otherwise you'll have a much, much harder time setting your blueprint back down again. You can easily put those in afterwards, take you a minute or two at most. But uh, in terms of blueprinting it, just keep it simple like this and add those bits afterwards. So, we'll hit the blueprint button, press and hold, and then select structure. When I figure out what I'm doing, there we go. <laughs> now we'll go create blueprint, give it a little name, and it should be ready to place down again. This is actually a slightly different version of the build, because I've already done something similar for a different video, so this is just going straight off the end of the staircase. Works just fine, when you select the right thing. Principle is exactly the same, as you can see, nice and easy to place. So, build number two. This one will require a slightly larger area of flat ground, but we're going to try and make things a little bit more interesting, do something a little bit different this time say it's still easy enough to move especially if you make sure you don't put stairs on it um, beyond that 
Make sure you've got a little bit more open ground to work with and you should be fine. So, I'm going to go with a 2x3. Stick a wall in at the end. A couple of angled ones on the top there. I'll find them. There they are. Wrong side. Nice. Top it over the other one. And we'll just stick a roof on nice quick. The angled ones give it a bit more shape. It's a little finicky about getting roofs on sometimes. Sometimes having a wall helps, sometimes it doesn't help at all. So, in case of uh, a little persuasion. Okay. Let's try and do something a little bit different that will still be easy to move and just gives you a few more options rather than doing the same thing everybody else is doing. Not that there's any problem with that, but it's nice to do something different once in a while. So, we can put a wall on this end, it's entirely optional. You can have this open and make this your entrance if you like, but for the purposes of this one, just stick a wall on here. And we'll head over to the defences tab and stick a couple of fences on. Close it off. There we go, dead simple, nothing fancy, but it's a slightly different shape and still easy to move. Put all your workbenches inside, not a problem. There is a gate here, as you can see. However, it's awkward about being snapped onto a foundation. It'll occasionally work, but not very often, so I wouldn't bother on the whole. As you can see, done it the other way around this time. Shove it away a little bit further and we should be able to just place it down nice and easy. There we go. So, this next one, I should give a shout out to Jen P on YouTube. I'll link her channel somewhere in the top right corner around about now. I actually saw this on her Twitter feed, which is a dead simple idea. And I have to admit, I felt rather dumb for not thinking of it. But uh, as far as a quick, easy to move, simple build goes, it's absolutely brilliant. And that is to use the brand new contemporary building set, which is available in the Atomic Shop. If you're not particularly keen on buying atoms, you can always grab them via daily and weekly challenges throughout the game. If you've got a new character in particular, you'll find they practically throw atoms at you, which is great. But, it's a nice, dead simple set. Stick four corner pieces together, and there you go. You've got a structure. So we'll blueprint that, as you can see. You can drop that in quite nice and easily. Very easy to move, just two by two, so it doesn't take too much space. And with a little bit of uh, careful placement, you can put all your workbenches in as well. Nothing fancy, but it looks a little nicer and it's a little different to the standard that everybody's doing. Again, you can snap your stairs on there if you want as well. So, sticking with the contemporary set for an up-to-date build as well, this one is slightly larger, slightly more complex, but it will allow you to have a very mobile, fully finished house. So you can do a dead simple build, move it nice and easily, and have something that looks complete, which is a bonus over the floating approach, in my personal opinion. So, we'll get the four standard foundations in, in the centre, and then we're going to snap on some contemporary porch foundations, which are, again, on the floor tab, and a little finicky about the snapping, apparently. <laughs> the smaller the area you're trying to snap them to, the harder it is to work with, just because of the perspective in the game, but uh, a little bit of fiddling around, we'll get them in eventually. There we go. We'll just tweak these so they're facing the right way. That thick upper portion should be facing inwards and then the roof will slope away from the centre. Yeah. Get some walls in, nice and easy. Start with the door. But the textures on this new set are pretty nice. The insides are based on the um, barn set, which is not so great. But the outsides are really nice and the window frames and door frames are great as well. So. You can always grab a few wallpapers from the Atomic Shop if you want to make it look a little bit more interesting. So, a couple of railings. These ones are in the Defences tab again. They're uh, unique to these particular building pieces. They'll only snap onto these veranda edges, the temporary porches. Nice and easy, we've got those in. Now we're going to need some doors so we can actually get onto these verandas. Well, I'll just offset those a little bit. What's that? Now we've got a roof on here. If you do want to go upstairs, you can just head straight over to the stair tab and grab one of the uh, sets of stairs with the frame on. Snap it in any way you like. Try and make sure the stairs aren't overlapping with one of the doors, though. Stick some half walls or some full walls on the top and then a roof on that. You've got a second story and it's just as easy to move. But, there we go. Simple, easy, 4x4, four four, but a little bigger, so you need a little bit more ground to work with. But, still, dead easy to position. And this should drop in nice and easy. Personally, I'd stick all my um, workbenches out on the verandas and then just have the inside as a sort of living space, but huge terrain. 
bit of space on the front there to snap some stairs on afterwards if you'd like to. I'm actually going to use this on one of my secondary characters. It's a, a nice simple build that actually looks nice and reasonably finished. So, four easy to move builds and here's a little bonus one. So, it doesn't really work so well if you want to build this idea. Um, if you want to move rather. But, if you're not really into building and you want to keep it simple, find some existing locations. This won't work with anywhere that's actually marked on the map. You just need something that is a, an unmarked structure, which is what we're going to see here. But you can head over to those, plunk your camp down, and it can be a little finicky about letting you place stuff in on occasion, but you won't need to build any structures. You can just stick your workbenches in, a few bits of furniture, and you've got yourself a camp in an existing structure. Works very well for a few existing houses like this. There's a few other interesting buildings knocking around that are all over the place, to be fair, that are worth having a look for. Um, you can also find a few caves knocking around, which are a bit awkward to build in sometimes, but they make for very interesting camps if you can squeeze something in there. Little concert hut in the mire here. This one is a bit of a pain. It's mostly finished for you, and you can tuck in all the essentials that you haven't already got. But it does spawn reasonably high level um, ticks here, which if you've got a few levels under your belt, you won't have a problem. But like a crazy fool, I ran all the way to the mire at level five, and needless to say, bit off a bit more than I could chew. So the residents weren't too happy with my turning up here, but as you can see, squeeze a few little fortifications in, top up the workbenches a little bit. The armor bench was already there. Already got a bed in here, a little bit of seating around. I wouldn't recommend you storing anything in the existing storage. Stick a stash box down, but other than that, you can come around the side. It's fenced off as well, so got a nice little uh, bit of security here. Keep a unwanted visitors out. Give you a few bits of corn around the corner here. And everything you need in one place with minimal building required. So the one thing to be aware of in places like this is if it has any uh, residents like the ticks, you will have to take them out each time you re-log into the game or change the service. But if it's not somewhere that you're too under-leveled for, you shouldn't have too much trouble with that anyway. So there we go, four simple, easy to move camps and a few extra bits and pieces as well. I do hope you folks found that useful and informative. If you did, please do hit those buttons for me, so it's very, very much appreciated. Social media links down in the description as well if you want to catch up with me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And if you're really enjoying the content, please do consider becoming a channel member as well via the blue join button. The support is hugely appreciated. A little more information on that in the description as well. Keep an eye out for the live streams as well. A little notification bell will let you know every time we go live. We're having a lot of fun playing Fallout 76, exploring Wastelanders, and playing a few other bits and pieces on the side as well. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.